Cross the line now. And that is the 24 of Aaron Johnson dropping back to the back of this pack. He doesn't want to be up at the front right now while they're jostling. Well, he comes from a long way back around the outside in the bright, shiny red car, right up alongside the rookie leader, 85 of Bruno Smolevsky. Where did he come from? Smolevsky's worked his way. He was at the front of the second group. He worked his way to the front of that group. And as soon as he got latched onto the lead group, he made up a two or three place, places, and he's now battling for a finish. White flag next time by is the call from race control. OK. Uh, thank you to the series for letting us know that. So wow. means we've got about six more miles of this. And then we do it all again tomorrow. I feel like we have been watching the same pictures since the drop of the green flag, and I mean that in the best possible way. It's like we put this on repeat. It's Gonzalez now at the head of the field as they come round onto the high backs. Here comes Glenn McGee. He noses in front of Max Opalski in that iRacing livery car, and that gives him $1,000 where he stands at. We've got a flash. Someone's got a flash button. Yeah. Who, who's programmed the button for multi-flash? That's the pilot, Celine Rolland, of course. <laughs> 87 car. Top three together. Uh, indicated going on that, Celine Roland's car. He's that trying was, to confuse everybody. I think he must have just knocked that as he was coming on to the high banks. It yeah. will be white flag next time around. Now, do you want to lead? Uh, tradition would say, and experience would say here, that you need to be in about seventh or eighth position going I, on to the coming out of the Le Mans chicane on the last lap. I want to be Sam Paley or Aaron Johnson right now because they are a little bit further back to avoid the Jared momentum. Thomas, we know his car's really good. It is. In, in the draft, there goes the rookie leader. Bruno goes to the high side. Smolevsky is challenging for the lead. He might get a push here. Two sets of three and four cars and he's leading the rookie leads into the last lap he's heating up his front discs get hugely sideways if he pulls this one off it's an absolute corker smashing maneuver by Smolevsky to take the lead as we go on to the last lap but who's in second Sam Paley and who needs to win this race and tomorrow's race to continue going in the season Sam Paley he's going to do whatever it takes to try and get to the checkered flag first that would give him twelve thousand dollars if he Won both of the races this weekend, and Sam at the moment has only got the budget for this weekend. Aaron John Somers alongside as they go down to the West Horseshoe. These guys battling, letting Smolenevsky get away. This could be an awesome debut, a full season debut for the Brazilian. None of the top three have ever won a race in this championship. <laughs> the four behind them know very well how to get it done. We, we had a series, two series champions on the grass there. Tyler Gonzalez gets a good run onto the banking in fourth position. This is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Smolevsky is caught. Now the top three are together. Do you make the move now and try and hold no. on to the line? Where, where's Jared Thomas? Jared Thomas went across the line in eighth position. He's not quite with the leaders as yet. Here's Gonzalez working with Zilich. They're trying to pass everyone going into the Lamont. Chicane can't get it done. That's helped the leader. The Brazilian flag car in the lead. Here's Gonzalez. Goes to the outside really early. He's with Pele. He's pushed Pele now towards the leader. Pele goes to the low side. Oh, a little bit of inexperience there by Smolevsky. Should have been down on the yellow lines and made yep. the go of the top. Now he needs to drop in to the back of Zilic, which he does. But look at the cars coming behind. Here's Jansson being pushed by Gresham Wagner. Coming through. I think it's too late. I think it's too late. It's going to be Pele. I Pele think it's to the Sam Pele. Sam Paley, he's Gonzalez. Nope. It's going to be a dead heat. Gonzalez goes to the line. Was it Gonzalez? It was, was Gonzalez. It, Zilich? it was Gonzalez. Zilich comes through to second. And in third, Aaron Johnson. Gresham Wagner in fourth. Amazing run to the line. That's Sam extraordinary stuff. Sam Paley in third, John. Sam Paley was scored in third. Oh. Aaron Johnson fourth. Gresham Wagner fifth. Bruno Smoleski in sixth. The, the lead two is where some of the battle is. Wagner goes below the two yellow lines to try and make through. Look at how tight the top three are. There's not half a MX5 
between the top three. Not half a tenth of a second between the top three, a tenth of a second between the top four, one and a half tenths between the top five. Gonzalez, Zilic, Sam Pearlie, Aaron Johnson just off the podium in fourth from Gresham Wagner in fifth. Bruno Smolewski, who led the first, the final lap, going into the final lap, is the best of the rookies in sixth ahead of Celine Milan. To Thomas Annunziato inside the top ten at eight is the second rookie. Then Jared Thomas gets his defence of the championship underway with a solid ninth position from Glenn McGee in tenth position. He's the last driver who gets the thousand dollars. Max Opalski in eleventh position. It looked for all the world as though Sam Paley had done enough. Tyler Gonzalez times his dive to the top of the track perfectly. And right on the top side, Connor Zilic coming through to just nip through into second place. Unbelievable. Gonzalez wins it from Zilic on the high side. And the car that